Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be put to shame. Release me from the snare they have hidden for me, for you indeed are my refuge. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we offer this celebration of the Holy Mass particularly for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, as he begins today his apostolic journey, apostolic visit to Iraq. And uh, we pray for his safety. We pray that this trip might bear fruit for peace, for reconciliation, and for healing in that country. And so, as we prepare for this celebration of the Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that purifying us 
by the sacred practice of penance, you may lead us in sincerity of heart to attain the holy things to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. Israel loved Joseph best of all his sons, for he was the child of his old age, and he had made him a long tunic. When his brothers saw that their father loved him best of all his sons, they hated him so much that they would not even greet him. One day, when his brothers had gone to pasture their father's flocks at Shechem, Israel said to Joseph, Your brothers, you know, are tending flocks at Shechem. Get ready, I will send you to them. So Joseph went after his brothers and caught up with them in Dothan. They noticed him from a distance, and before he came up to them, they plotted to kill him. They said to one another, Here comes the master dreamer. Come on, let us kill him and throw him into one of the cisterns here. We could say that a wild beast devoured him. We shall see then what comes of his dreams. When Reuben heard this, he tried to save him from their hands, saying, We must not take his life. Instead of shedding blood, he continued, Just throw him into that cistern there in the desert, but do not kill him outright. His purpose was to rescue him from their hands, and return him to his father. So when Joseph came up to them, they stripped him of the long tunic he had on. Then they took him and threw him into the cistern, which was empty and dry. They then sat down to their meal. Looking up, they saw a caravan of Ishmaelites coming from Gilead, their camels laden with gum, Bum and resin to be taken down to Egypt. Judah said to his brothers, What is to be gained by killing our brother and concealing his blood? Rather, let us sell him to these Ishmaelites instead of doing away with him ourselves. After all, he is our brother, our own flesh. His brothers agreed. They sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. When the Lord called down a famine on the land and ruined the crop that sustained them, he sent a man before them. Joseph sold as a slave. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. They had weighed him down with fetters, and he was bound with chains, till his prediction came to pass, and the word of the Lord proved him true. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the peoples set him free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Please stand. Pag-ibig sa sanliputan ng Diyos ay The 
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, Hear another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went on a journey. When vintage trine drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain his produce. But the tenants seized the servants, and one they beat, another they killed, and a third they stoned. Again he sent other servants, more numerous than the first one, but they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, thinking, they will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. They seized him, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. What will the owner of the vineyard do to those tenants when he comes? They answered him, He will put those wretched men to a wretched death and lease his vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the proper times. Jesus said to them, Did you never read in the scriptures, The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruit. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they knew that he was speaking about them. And although they were attempting to arrest him, they feared the crowds, for they regarded him as a prophet. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Today, we see two similar stories in the first reading and in our Gospel passage today. May pagkakaparehas ang kwento. In the first reading, we hear about the story of Joseph, the favorite son. But his brothers were angry at him and therefore they planned to kill him. But later on, he was instead sold to slavery in Egypt. We see also a similar story in our gospel passage today in the parable of Jesus when the tenants killed the son of the owner of the vineyard. It is pertaining to the story of Jesus of being the son sent but killed. We see in both stories, my dear brothers and sisters, stories of rejection. But let us see also that the stories of rejection did not stop there. We know that Joseph, later on, sold by his brothers, rejected by his brothers, later on became their savior. Kung sino yung kapatid na kanilang idinenta, yung kapatid na kanilang pinanggihan, later on, 
siya ang kapatid na nagligtas sa kanila. And that is also the story of Jesus. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone according to the scriptures. Si Jesus na tinanggihan, si Jesus na inalipusta, si Jesus na pinatay, sa huli, siya pa ang naging tagapagligtas. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's readings, we hear stories of rejection. But God has a purpose. God has a mission. And these people who were rejected, the story of Joseph in our first reading, the parable in our gospel pertaining, prefiguring Jesus, the son who was rejected and killed, they were rejected, yes, but it is part of God's mission. And these people who were rejected later on became the savior of their people. Mga kapatid, siguro po darating sa punto ng ating mga buhay na mararamdaman natin na parang we are being rejected. People will reject you. People will belittle you. Darating po sa punto ng ating buhay na parang tatanggihan tayo ng mga tao, sisiraan tayo ng mga tao, sisirain ka ng ilang mga tao. At baka pakiramdam mo ay you are being rejected by everyone. But the readings today remind us, those who are being rejected are given by God a special mission. Being rejected is part of the mission. When you feel that you are being rejected, ridiculed by people, think of that. It is part of the mission. Do not look at those people. Do not listen to their ridicule. Look to your mission. Ganyan ang ginawa ni Jesus. Ganyan ang nangyari kay Joseph sa unang pagbasa. They were rejected, but later on, they became the savior of their own people. Today, we... Uh, will pray for Pope Francis because he will be uh, visiting Iraq. The first Pope in history to visit that land. And uh, we know that at this time, it is uh, a, a dangerous trip because of the pandemic and because of uh, the uh, danger of uh, terrorism we pray for his safety we pray that his visit might bear fruit for peace and healing especially in that country where Christians were persecuted Christians were rejected in that land but see my dear brothers and sisters even if Christians were killed persecuted Rejected in Iraq, now Pope Francis visits that country and telling them that even if you have persecuted Christians in this land, Christians are now here. The head of the Catholic Church visits the land and offers you the gift of reconciliation and healing. The people who were rejected now becomes the instrument of peace and salvation in that land. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this Eucharist, let us, remind, let us be reminded that rejection is part of mission. 
Rejection is part of the mission of Jesus. Look at your mission. Do not be distracted by all these rejections. Instead, look at the mission of Jesus. And later on, we will see that like Jesus, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Let us offer our prayers in this Mass for our dear Pope Francis, that God may protect him and give him the courage so that he could bring message of peace and reconciliation in that land. Amen. Please stand. Reflecting upon the warning in the gospel about the need to bear fruit, we place now our requests before God our Father. For every petition, let us say, Lord of the vineyard, bless our lives. Lord of the vineyard, bless our lives. That the Holy Father may receive light strength, and support in guiding the Church in these difficult times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of the, the vineyard, vineyard bless, bless our, our lives. lives. That our minds may be filled with peace of God, which brings eternal joy and lasting happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of the, the vineyard, vineyard bless, bless our, our lives. lives. That in our own lives we may hear the fruits of love, forgiveness, justice, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of the, the vineyard, vineyard, bless our lives. That the sick and the suffering may never lose heart in the midst of their trials, but be strengthened by the word of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of the, the vineyard, vineyard, bless our lives. That the dead may receive their eternal rest in your kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of the, the vineyard, vineyard, bless our lives. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your steadfast love. Help us to serve you generously and to live lives worthy of our calling. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May your merciful grace prepare your servants, O God, for the worthy celebration of these mysteries and lead them to it by a devout way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not, not worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my, my soul shall, shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal salvation, we pray, O Lord, that we may set our course so well as to attain the redemption you promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us offer special prayers for the intentions and for the safety of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, our sinners. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it, As it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and ever, ever shall be, world without, without end. end. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant your people, O Lord, we pray, health of mind and body, that by constancy in good deeds, they may always merit the defense of your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Lord, we give our yes.